Peace, this is Thomas Simmons. I'm back again right now for another edition of Jazz Crate Digging, uh, Volume 2. This time it's going to be Volume 2. And we got a lot of great pieces to display on this afternoon. And But before we get started, we like to acknowledge a couple of cats. We like to acknowledge Brother Robert J. Carmack of the Hipsters Collector Corner and Brother John Armwood, and Miss Grace E. Hollis, and Jazz House, I'd like to acknowledge Jazz House on Facebook. This is Thomas Simmons. I do a show on 91.9 FM in Atlanta, WCLK. The show is called The Midnight Special on 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. Saturday morning. And I also alternate on a show called Collector Showcase from 6 to 9 on Sundays. We're going to start right now with Lee Morgan. This is taken from a very first release titled Indeed or Presenting Lee Morgan. And it's also the debut of alto saxophonist Clarence C. Sharp, 1956, Blue Note. Lee Morgan. It's titled Indeed. Here's a group known as MJT Plus Three, the leader being Walter Perkins. Walter Perkins MJT Plus Three means the Modern Jazz Two Plus Three. And that their group consists of Willie Thomas, Frank Strozier, uh, Bob Cranshaw, Hal Mayburn, Walter Perkins. Released on VJ called Walter Perkins is MJT plus three, 1959, 1960. This is on VJ, by the way. We also got a Savoy recording and the very first release on Savoy by the group known as the Quartet. And the Quartet really is the modern jazz quartet with Percy Heath, Milk Jackson, John Lewis, Kenny Clark. And this is their first release, 1952, for that type of season. This is uh, a rare record. And it's, you, if you see this, it's going to cost you a lot of money. But good music has no price. Here is Johnny Hammond Smith and singer Bertie Green. This is on Prestige. The name of this album is called The Stinger Meets the Golden Thrush. And she does Broadway on that. Singer Bertie Green with Johnny Hammond Smith on Prestige Records. Here is a Pacific Jazz recording of the group known as the Jazz Crusaders. And this is a real smoker. They got a compositions like Robin's Desk. It's a tune written by Sir Charles Thompson and uh, they do Baca filling on here, Garnett Brown's tune. This is a real smoker. This is about 1963. Wilton Felder, Wilton Felder, Joe Sample, Sticks Hooper, Wayne Henderson. The only thing about the Jazz Crusaders was they ever changed the personnel of bass players. One time they might have Jimmy Bond. They might have Buster Williams. On this album, they got Monk Montgomery. Some albums got Leroy Vinegar. You know what I'm saying? Just to uh, put you up on reference about these cats. Here is two albums by Eddie Lockjaw Davis. One is titled I Only Have Eyes For You with the Paul Whedon Trio. Paul Whedon is the guitar player and Eddie Lockjaw Davis going to the meeting. It's a real smoker right now. So you find these, put both of these in your collection. The historical teaming of Clifford Jordan and John Gilmore, blowing in from Chicago. I like the two blue lights and uh, Evil Eye. Nice record, though. Had this record for quite some time now. A United Artists recording of singer King Pleasure. This is taken from one title, Mr. Jazz. And this is on United Artists. We also got Lou Donaldson, 
with the three sounds. This is the original copy on Blue Note. And uh, does a great version of Confirmation on here. Uh, Gene Harris, Andy Simpkins, Bill Dowdy. It's a great group, Lou Donaldson. And uh, you find this, put this in your collection as well. I know y'all see me post this record right here. And this is, my dad used to play this record a lot. It's by a cat named Sonny Cox. The name of the record is called The Well, or the title track, I Like Called The Well. Now, this is a real smoker. You can find this and anything of the Three Souls. That's a group that Sonny, Clark, Sonny Cox was a part of. Not Sonny Clark, but Sonny Cox was a part of. Uh, Sonny Cox or Argo Cadet. The Great Charles Mingus. This is a United Artists recording titled Jazz Portraits and uh, Nostalgia in Times Square. It's a real hip piece of music too as well. You know, I really dig this record right here by Charles Mingus. Original copy. I also, I also posted this on Facebook on uh, Hipsters Collector's Corner by this vocalist right here. She has two of them. She has this one, uh, I Got Your Number, and this one right here called Feeling Good with Charles McPherson. And this is a rare record, Miss Pat Bowie. You can uh, get this particular record. If you find it, hey, it's a great record to have in your collection. Now, this is a VJ recording of the Young Lions. At the Young Lions at the time were cats like Lee Morgan, Lee Morgan, uh, Wayne Shorter, Bobby Timmons, Louis Hayes, Albert Heath, Frank Strozer. 1960 is the year VJ Records out of Chicago. Great record. Here's a man that we affectionately know and we call Jug. This is a 1961 record. It's titled Uptight, and it is a cooker. So, you know what I'm saying? If you find this, put this in piece of your collection as well. I also have a 10 inch record of Clifford Brown. Somebody posted this on Facebook, on I think Hipster's Corner or Jazz House. But this is the actual 10 inch record by Clifford Brown uh, Ensemble featuring Zoot Sims. A lot of cats on here like Russ Freeman. And they do some of Clifford's classics like Dahoo. But uh, he was voted Downbeat's new star on the trumpet of 1954, Clifford Brown. And we also got it from our main man, Jackie McQueen. This is taken from one called Jackie's Bag. It's a good record to have. It's like two personnel. One personnel has Donald Byrd. One person that has Blue Mitchell, Jackie McLean, Tina Brooks, Kenny Drew, Paul Chambers, Art Taylor. And one has Donald Byrd, Jackie McLean, Sonny Clark, Paul Chambers, Philly Joe Jones, Jackie's Bad. And this is the actual funeral program of my main man, Jackie McLean, one of my favorite musicians um, who died, who left us in 19... In, excuse me, not 19, but 2006, Brother Jackie McLean, and uh, his funeral was held at the Abyssinia Baptist Church in Harlem, and that's an Odell Place, at Abyssinia Baptist Church, the Reverend Calvin Butts officiating, Brother Jackie McLean, and Jackie will be missed, and a host of more great musicians will be missed as well. This is Thomas Simmons signing off, and it's been very good for Jazz Crate Digging Volume 2. Peace.